In the late 1930s, the United States Navy had a few thousand flying boats, notably the Martin Mariner, the Grunman Goose, and of course the PBY Catalina. Some versions of these aircraft had wheels for ordinary takeoff and landings, but also had pontoons as their primary purpose was to use water as a runway. Occasionally things did not go as planned and the Navy needed a way to recover the flying boats. The YSD-11 class derricks were first constructed in 1940, and by the end of World War II, they were built in several shipyards around the country. Around 65 total were built. They were nicknamed Marianne's. <laughs> no, not that Marianne. This Marianne from the 1939 book Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. These were utilitarian vessels having a length of 104 feet, a beam of 31 and a draft of 4 feet, at a top speed of 10 knots. They proved to be very valuable for their assigned task of recovering seaplanes. They also recovered other planes, seen here recovering a Japanese aircraft that ended up in the water at Pearl Harbor. Here's YSD-55 assisting with the Pearl Harbor recovery. Here's YSD-64 transporting a carrier aircraft. YSD-61 was launched in April 1944 on the Seoul Steel Company in San Francisco. Unfortunately, YSDs are not loved like carriers and battleships. This is the only in-service picture I was able to find. It was assigned to the Naval Air Station on Whidbey Island, which is north of Seattle. It was sold by the Navy and registered in 1961 to the Western Marine Construction Company as the O&M No. 1. Western Marine Construction was founded in 1961. YSD might have been one of their first derricks. YSD-61 was in their service for 50 years. It is not known who owned it when it was abandoned. YSD-67 is now the MV Puget, owned by the Army Corps of Engineers and performs cleanup activities in the Puget Sound. YSD-18 is now the Mary B, a fishing vessel. YSD-59 is now called the Merit is now being used as a dredge. YSD-14 is now called the Raccoon. It is performing cleanup duties around the San Francisco Bay. It has a new bow for trapping floating debris. YSD-24 is now known as the Seahorse. It has been assisting the state of Washington with its derelict vessel recovery program. If you have a YSD story, please add your comments below.